Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the virtual award ceremony for Here Comes the Sun, an exhibit by the Detroit Society of Women Painters and Sculptors. My name is Phil Gilchrist. Uh, despite what it says at the bottom of the screen right now, I'm the executive director of the Anton Art Center, and I'd like to welcome you all to this virtual award ceremony. Um, those of you who may not be familiar with the Anton Art Center, we are located here in downtown Mount Clemens at 125 Macomb Place. We are open to the public right now. We have regular open hours, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Tuesdays through Saturdays. And so I encourage you to come and see this exhibit in person, or we will be posting um, the exhibit as an online or virtual show uh, in a few more days as well. I'll let our exhibits manager, Stephanie Hazard, share a little more of those details. Um, before we get started, I would just like to mention that we have some other upcoming programs, which are also primarily in person. July the 10th, we're going to be celebrating ceramics and clay with our Clay Sat Arch Day program presented by First State Bank. We're going to have our clay instructor, Deanna Klein, on hand doing demonstrations. And we're also going to have the team joining us for raccoon firing demonstrations. Um, we will have a hands-on activity as well, so come prepared to get a little dirty. That program is absolutely free, and we'll look forward to seeing you July 10th between 6 and 8 p.m. Also, July the 24th, we are hosting, along with the Mount Clemens Downtown Development Authority, a live opera concert at the Fountain Stage in downtown Mount Clemens. This is another free program and a great partnership with the Michigan Opera Theater. I hope you'll come out and see that uh, concert with us as well. Um, so a quick thank you to all of our participating artists in this exhibit here, as well as a thank you to Richard Reeves Jr., the judge for this particular show. Um, with no further ado, I'll step out of the way and turn it over to Stephanie Hazard, our exhibitions manager. Um, Stephanie, please, come on over. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Phil, for the introduction. Thank you for welcoming everybody today. Um, I'm going to take my mask off too so that you can see my face as I'm talking. Um, we're going to start with just, um, Phil gave a couple thank yous and I wanted to just echo that, um, send out a thank you, um, a heartfelt thank you to all of these wonderful artists who put this show together. Um, we wouldn't be the Art Center without you all, so I want to appreciate, send out our appreciation to you all for doing such an amazing job and for um, offering this show to us to host. Um, I will have a few more notes in a little bit, but right now I'm going to introduce uh, the juror for the show today and to share a few notes that he has. Um, welcome, Richard Reeves. Please unmute yourself when you get a second. There you go. Hello, everyone. How are you? Good. Here. Thank you. You're good. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear you. Oh, you're all set. Go ahead. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, I was the juror for um, Here Comes the Sun. I, I'm Richard Reeves, I'm the Director of Arts and Culture for the Hannon Center, which is located in Midtown, um, Detroit, just uh, a block and a half south of the DIA. Um, the Hannon Center is a, um, it's basically a senior center, but we also have an art gallery, the K-Rite Gallery, which we um, host uh, many art um, ex exhibitions. Um, I, I thought it was a really big honor to um, to uh, be asked to juror this show because I um, know several people in in um, the, the Detroit Society of Women's Painters and Sculptors because they recently had an exhibit here and um, I just thought you know them asking me to to juror this show was just such a just such an honor and I also want to thank them for making it such a hard, hard, hard thing to do because judging a show is not an easy thing. Um, you're all such talented artists and um, it, it, you know, it, it really made my job really difficult because I wanted everybody to um, be a part of this show. 
Um, I think all the entries were just so reflective of what the art scene is like in the Detroit area, actually in, in the whole world. Um, you guys are, have such a great variety of talent and um, just, um, I, I would enjoy seeing um, just everything that you, that you submitted. Um, the way I kind of tackled during it, um, my, fir I did a, my first look was to see um, the um, photos that you submitted in event thingy. Um, and it, it, as you know, um, as you probably know, viewing art through photos is such a different experience than actually seeing the art in person. So I had to kind of step outside myself and just look at the art at, with the photos that you, that you sent me and kind of decide how am I going to decide on um, what art goes into this show. So I thought if I was curating this show, what art would I like to see? Uh, what art um, kind of fits the theme, even though you don't really have a, a real theme, you did have a title, here comes the sum. So I, I kind of looked at it as what art kind of fit that I felt, you know, made me feel about that theme. And um, then I kind of looked at it as curating the show. What art would I like to see kind of hanging next to each other? So I kind of imagined if I was hanging this show, what art would I like kind of to see what complemented each other and things like that. So that was how I kind of went about narrowing it down to um, what I felt like actually got into the show. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of looking at some notes that I took, so bear with me a little bit. Um, for, uh, yeah, so, so I, I like to see what, what part I'd like to see in the show, what I'd like to see next to each other, what, um, uh, kind of what the what I thought maybe from looking at the photos, what I thought the technique was. Um, I kind of wanted a variety of styles. I wanted it to be really representative of different styles. So I wanted to be really inclusive of, of, um, of thought to be really inclusive of different styles. Um, and, um, and, um, and also I took in consideration from looking at the photos um, what pieces would I really want to see again? What, what pieces did I want to actually see in person after, after um, looking at the photos? And so that I kind of narrowed, I went through with the photos several times and I kind of narrowed it down to the ones that you um, actually were presented in the gallery. And then from there, um, I um, kind of, while the show was being hung, I kind of reviewed the photos, kept reviewing the photos and thinking about, you know, what I wanted to, what I wanted to see when I got to the gallery. And that's how I got there. I, um, when I got to the gallery, I was really impressed with um, just the Anton Gallery itself. It was a beautiful space. And um, I thought the art was, was um, presented very well. And, um, and, but then my real, um, kind of uh, frustration, not really frustration, but my real, my work really, really began because I had to um, decide uh, what um, pieces um, were, would I award uh, first, second, third place and the honorable mentions. So I, what I really wanted to do is I, I wanted to, I, I first walked into the gallery and looked at the pieces and just kind of walked around and got an idea of what my, what pieces gave me that immediate impact that, you know, like, oh, or you know, just stopped me in my tracks and, and, and you know, I kind of took kind of mental notes. And as I was doing that, I also um, took photos of ones that I felt like was giving me that immediate impact and, and um, you know, uh, what, I, what I felt a draw to and what I felt, felt the theme. I looked at technique and I looked at different genres because I really still wanted to keep um, the show um, to have several different kinds of um, different kinds of artwork too. Um, I, I was looking at originality of idea and like I said, um, what what actually I thought fit the theme of Here Comes the Sun, or at least what I thought the theme of Here Comes the Sun meant. Um, and then I kind of I I took all the photos that I, I that I actually took hanging in the gallery. Actually, I, I 
I ended up taking a few pieces off the wall and kind of look at them because I wanted to look at them in a little different light too. And I kind of looked at them up close and I was kind of looking at the technique and, and stuff. And I um, 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 kind of sat down in a, in a kind of a quiet space in the gallery. And I looked at all the photos that I took of the ones that I really wanted to review again and kind of deciding who would, who would um, which pieces I would give the award the prizes to. And then, um, and then I um, kind of got up and walked around and looked at the exhibit again and see if I felt like I had the same kind of impact, that pieces had the same kind of impact and, and what kept and tried to decide what kept speaking to me. And from that, I was able to pick a first, second, and third place, and um, honorable mentions. Um, I kind of went back and forth again, just through myself, just, you know, um, it, it, I thought it was very, uh, all the pieces I thought were just beautiful and very close, but that was kind of how I approached um, um, judging this, this particular piece, the, this particular show. And I think that the pieces that I um, picked, I, I can, when, when they make the announcements, I can maybe even tell you a little bit of, of why I thought each of those pieces um, were um, the one, what, what drew me to those pieces and what um, um, made those pieces, the, the pieces that I decided were the, were the ones that won the award. Yeah. That was that. Great. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, what we can do is I'll, I'll announce the words here in a moment and then um, I can pause for you, Richard, and you can um, add any comments that you'd like um, to that. And um, if we have the artists here today um, too, um, and Richard, if, if that sounds like it'll work for you too, um, I often invite the artists to say a few words about their piece as well. So if you'd like, we can invite them if they're here um, to say a word or two about their work. Um, and that can come either before or after your comments. Um, I guess we can do before, so then we can be surprised to see what the artist says. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'd be great. I wanna thank you too, Richard, because I know it's a very challenging job um, to jury a show. It's a very challenging job. You're looking at a lot of really um, strong talent um, in a variety of media, um, in a variety of subject matter. Um, sometimes. So I wanted to just give you a thank you um, in, in being very thorough and um, very, very considerate of your choices. I know it's a very tough job and I feel for you. Um, but I know, um, I guess speaking on behalf of the center and um, some on behalf of the artists even maybe that um, we appreciate you doing so and, and spending so much time in your, um, in your thought process there. Um, it is very much appreciated. So, um, yeah, with that, I'll go into just a couple more notes, um, which is just about the show itself. Um, Phil mentioned earlier a little bit about it, but um, the title of the show is Here Comes the Sun, and the show is open today. Today's opening day, and it's open through August uh, 17th. Um, there are 42 artworks in the show by 34 artists, and um, all of these artists on display um, are members of the Detroit Society of Women Painters and Sculptors, and the show was juried by Richard B. Reeves Jr. who joins us today. Um, what I am holding now is the program. Um, this is the paper that we have available. Um, it's a trifold that has the information. I don't wanna give away the words because they're in here too, but there um, has the information of all of the pieces um, inside, including the names of all the artists, the names, the titles of the pieces and their media and their price. Um, we have, um, I think every work in this show is for sale. Um, so if you visit and you're interested in the piece, you can let us know. Um, these are all for sale and it is first come first serve. So if you see a piece online that you really, really like, um, or if you come to the show and you see a piece that you just fall in love with, um, definitely let us know because once a piece is purchased, that's it, it's theirs. <laughs> um, as we all know, um, these are all originals. Um, and so there is only one of each piece. Um, I have today is the virtual awards announcement. We'll be announcing those awards in just a moment. Um, we have the upcoming July Saturday, I'm reading off the program here. And um, our Saturdays are a monthly free event. Um, we feature a variety of different um, art opportunities for um, people of all ages. And um, it's sponsored by First State Bank. And we have something new each time. Um, this one is on July 10th at 6 p.m and it's our clay day. So we're featuring artist uh, Deanna Klein, who also is our clay instructor here at the center. So she is gonna be celebrating clay with you all. 
Um, so that would be a really fun one. Play is um, probably our, one of our most, if not the most popular class that we have here. So that would be one that you don't want to miss. Um, play is a lot of fun, especially in the summertime because you get to um, work outside sometimes. And um, yeah, check out our schedule. We have a lot of um, different events that are going on throughout the year. Um, many, most of which are free. Um, the the big one, we have a big fundraiser coming up, which is our only fundraiser of the year, and that's in September, and that's Art Party. Um, that's on Thursday, September 23rd, yes, and that starts around 6 p.m., I believe, as well. Um, we'll be having uh, tickets go on sale in August, so if you're interested in uh, coming to, out to support the center, um, please consider coming to the Art Party. It's a lot of fun. We're having it in person this year. Last year, it was all digital, all virtual, um, but this year, we're excited to welcome you back for an in-person fundraising event. Um, that will have um, kind of a taste fest going on with lots of different restaurants and um, a silent auction, a raffle, 50-50, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So definitely check that out um, coming up here in uh, later this summer. All right. Um, the only other thing I want to mention are um, the ribbons themselves, which I have right here. Here they are. These are the ribbons that we're awarding today. These were supplied by the Detroit Society of Women Painters and Sculptors. And um, these will be announced and um, placed next to the winning artwork for the duration of the show. So as soon as we wrap up our announcement today, I'm gonna to go around and put these next to the artworks. Um, what we're gonna move into now are the awards themselves, the announcements. Hoping I didn't miss any notes. Um, you might have caught the show on, um, on the news recently. It was on uh, WXYZ on uh, Thursday morning, I believe it was, at 8.30. Uh, we posted the video clip on our Facebook page if you're interested in taking a look um, for a great interview on that. And um, we post regular things up there on Facebook and different things in the news, so take a look there. Um, what I want to do is start with the Honorable Mention Awards. And I've got two in my hand. And I'm going to start with Sorry, not to confuse anybody. <laughs> um, I'm going to announce the title of the piece and the artist's name. And then um, I'm going to invite Richard to say a few words about that selection. And then if the artist is present, we'd love to invite you to say a few words about your piece. Um, if you'd like to. If you don't, that's totally fine. You can say pass or we will just move right on. Um, but um, we can go into the honorable mention awards. First one I have. The first of two honorable mentions for the show. This piece is called Escape. And the artist's name is Cheryl Widener. Congratulations, so, Cheryl. And go ahead, Richard. Okay, so um, I really um, like this piece. Um, even though um, I saw that it was a small piece when I, um, when I, um, when it was submitted, I saw the size. I, it didn't hit me that it was it was such a small piece, but it's a, it's a rather small painting. But um, I when I saw it, I just kind of felt the um, isolation, and I felt that um, there was this um, this the technique was was really lovely, and um, it was kind of very ethereal. Um, and um, I thought that it had such a kind of impact for being such a small piece. So that's why I thought it, it deserved this honorable mention award. All right, very good. Thanks, Richard. And if um, Cheryl, if you're on today, you can unmute yourself and say hello. We'll give for a moment, but if not, we can move on. I'm just writing in the award into the chat here. Honorable mention to Cheryl Widener. Great. All right, on to our second of two honorable mentions. Same ribbon, same color. And this award goes to The Golden Time of Day by Patricia Beard. Congratulations, Patricia and Richard. Take yeah. it away. So I, I, the, the, what I thought um, this, I thought this um, really hit kind of the, the theme of Here Comes the Sun for me. Um, and I love the idea that it was, a, it's kind of a, a painting and collage. There's a mixed media piece. And um, it just, it, it 
it had this moodiness and um, I felt like this guy in this hat was me standing by the water um, waiting, waiting for the sun, and, is, and which is one of my favorite things to do. And so it, it really um, just kind of drew me to it when I, as I, like I said before, as I kind of walked through, you know, the second and third time through the exhibit, it, it kind of just drew me to it, to it and um, just kind of, it, it, to me, it kind of um, mimicked a lot of how we how we felt during kind of this whole pandemic time. This you're isolated, you're kind of um, there, but there is some beauty and and you can you can find peace. So that's that's why I picked this piece. Oh, very good. And Patricia, if you are here, you can unmute yourself and let us know. But there's no pressure. If you're not interested in, in chatting today, that's okay. Uh, we can move on. Um, if I move too fast and you are here, just let us know um, a little bit later and um, we, can, we can definitely make time. All right, so Patricia, um, title was The Golden Time of Day and that's on Canvas. Great. Okay, we're gonna move into third prize. And third prize goes to the artwork called Safe Now by Julie Sabat. Congratulations, Julie. And there's the artwork on the screen. Richard? So um, with this piece, I just love the illustrate. It was kind of an illustrative style of this piece. And it and I, I love the way it kind of spoke to kind of a timely matter that of course we're all going through right now. Um, and it, it to me, this piece really kind of told a little story um, I loved um, um, just how well it was executed, and um, it was it was kind of a small painting, but but had a lot of impact for me. Um, and if Julie, if you're here today, if you want to unmute yourself. Oh, thank you for recognizing my important moment of the year. <laughs> Uh, and it was fun to do, and it was uh, the second shot, waiting the 15 minutes up there at the Health Alliance plant on 15 Mile Road. And uh, anyway, I've enjoyed it, and other people have enjoyed this too, so thank you for recognizing it. Awesome. Thanks, Julie. We're glad you're here. All right. sorry, I'm sorry I don't know how to know myself. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, you're doing great. We're happy to hear from you. It's always nice to hear. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. It's always nice to hear from the artists about their work. And also, in addition, we're very lucky to hear from our jurors today because there's a lot of jurors that aren't as brave to be in this, you know, presence of all, you know, with their decisions and to share that. So I wanted to um, highlight that because it's a hard job. And I know that um, Richard are doing a great job in in discussing those things and we appreciate we appreciate your courage <laughs> <laughs> all right with that i can move into our second second place red ribbon and that award goes to artwork titled goddess of evening by paula zacks which is up on your screen now go ahead richard so this this bold color palette was what really drew me to this piece. And um, it was another piece that I just kept going back to because every time I, I went to it, I kept seeing just just so many different things in it. I mean, I, I see faces, I see um, I, I see confusion, I see um, just kind of almost like a, a conversation happening here. So um, I, I loved it. I love the, the it's, it's um, a, a, a nice size piece too. I, I could just see it um, being part of someone's collection and, and them being very proud of it and featuring it as their, as a, as a piece, in, in, you know, as a, a statement piece in their whole collection. And I, I, I just really love this piece a lot. Awesome. And Paula, if you're here today, you can unmute yourself and let us know. But if not, there's no pressure at all. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, also, I, also, I wanted to say too, uh, the other thing I, I, I liked it, the abstractness of it. I, I you know, I, 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 one of the things I, I did when I was, I was wanting to represent all the different types of, um, of, um, um, you know, different types of styles and things is um, I, I kind of, you know, compare this abstract to other abstracts that I had, that had also had let in the show. And I just, it's like, you know, I, I really, really like the way this one spoke to me. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so great to hear your thoughts on the show, um, especially to give folks at home an idea of what to expect to come see it, um, which is a great teaser, of course. Um, yeah, I agree. There are just a, such a, a great variety of different mediums and different styles, um, uh, which is really what the show is all about and celebrating the membership of this group. So um, yeah, it's a perfect example of that. All right, so we're gonna move on to our first prize as soon as I write what our second prize winner was here in our chat. We can show you that photo for just a second. Thanks for bearing with me. Wanna make sure I get this in here. Um, I'm gonna be posting these awards um, on our website with the virtual show so that um, if you didn't catch it in the live um, or in the chat, I will be sending the results directly to the artists and I'll be posting them on our website under the exhibits tab um, for this show so you can see them there. Okay. I think I've had enough notes, yeah. First prize is next in our final award for the day. In our first place, artwork title is Difficult Woman by Loretta Markle. Congratulations, Loretta. And Richard, take it away. So this piece is, when I, when I talk about um, the pieces that hit me when I walked in, this is one of the pieces that really, really, I, I, I had to keep going back to again and again. And, and, and it, it attracted me because of the, the imagery, the, um, it, all the movement, the, um, just, just the style of this piece, the colors, the, the way they kind of, um, kind of blend together and, 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 you know, it, it's just a wonderful piece, Loretta. I, I think you did such a, a marvelous job. It, it it's, um, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's kind of a fantasy. It, it, and, um, like I said, um, every time I w walk through the gallery uh, again to just take a second look, this piece really, really, really stood out to me. So that's why I gave it the first place. Awesome. Yeah, and I, um, I see what you're saying about the piece. I want to point out that the texture of this piece is not really well shown in this photo. It is really yeah, that, to see that, in that, person. Yes, that's the other thing, like like yeah. you said, like you said, Stephanie. Um, when I was looking at it in um, the photos, it was one of the one of the pieces that I said, "Oh, I, I think I, I need to see this one in person too, mm -hmm. to really judge it and stuff." Like, and then when I um, when I actually saw it in person, I I wasn't disappointed at all. Yes, there, there's a, so much more when you see it in person. Yes, definitely. Um, Yes, which is a great way to encourage you all to come see the show in person. Yeah. Um, there are so many really great elements and details that you cannot get from a photo. Um, even in, when, when you zoom in, really, it's difficult to see it. And we do our best with photos, of course, and um, with a virtual exhibit that you can see online. But there's always some, an element that's different to a space, right? When you visit it, you're going to have the, um, especially in our gallery space, which is a really um, beautiful mix of natural light with um, the specialty lights that we have. Um, and just kind of the, the daily visit of just going out to somewhere new and seeing something different. So um, it's part of what we try to offer here at the center is some inspiration and some color, um, which this show does wonderfully well um, in celebrating Here Comes the Sun. They definitely brought the color and um, the excitement and the topics and the subject matter and um, a very well-rounded group of women um, and a very well-rounded um, exhibit. So I, I certainly encourage you to come see it. Um, Thank you to Richard. Thank you so much for being here today and chatting with us and sharing your thoughts. Um, thank you for during this show. Um, as I mentioned, it's a tough job and you did it very well. So thank you so much to you. 
um, artists. I want to thank you also so, so much for um, having such a wonderful show and coming together. And oh, great. Um, I just received word that Loretta Markle is here. And uh, Loretta, you can unmute yourself if you'd like to say something. I would just say uh, thank you so much. I'm overwhelmed uh, with this honor. Uh, I uh, loved everything Richard said about it. And uh, uh, I, uh, I, I had a lot of enjoyment putting it together. It's a combination of collage and painting and drawing. And uh, the title, Difficult Woman, uh, I, I uh, added the title at the last minute, reading about some of the uh, names people have for uh, women who are, um, what's the word? They have women that uh, say what they think. <laughs> and Bold the, women. Difficult women are, are, yeah, are outgoing women, women who uh, take charge. And uh, anyway, I just, uh, I'm just thrilled with the, with the prize and thank you all so much. Oh, thanks, Loretta. We're so glad you're here. And thanks for chiming in and um, uh, letting us meet you and hear your thoughts on it. Um, you know, I think that it's pretty um, interesting that that piece is, um, took the top spot because you're talking about uh, women very specifically in this piece. And um, as the group is also a collection of women, um, it's also a historic group, which I didn't mention earlier, but it is the old, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, women's artist groups in the country. Um, so proudly Detroit um, has that group and um, they were originally founded in 1903, um, which we have a great exhibit in addition to the exhibit that we have here um, in the collection of spaces behind me with the, um, all the numerous artworks. We also have in the history gallery, we have featuring historical items from um, the group that shows and talks about their history as a, as a group and which was founded, as I mentioned, 1903. Um, and there's um, some original piece um, in the show that was um, what, by one of the original members. Um, there's also some photographs and some really great materials that um, give you a really great background on the show, so um, on the group. Um, what I think is really interesting too is the Art Center itself was once the Mount Clemens Library and that library was built in 1904. So just around the same time that the group was formed, this building was erected. So it was kind of neat to hear um, how our history is kind of lined up there a little bit. Um, it wasn't the art center until 1969, but the historic part of this building uh, was, for, was built just around the same time. So um, part of what we do is try to celebrate that history uh, locally um, of what's going on, but also with the artist groups that we work with. So we're very happy to have a, a display of historic items too. So. Anyhow, um, you can catch all of this in person. Uh, the historic exhibit is not online. So that's something you have to see in person to, um, to take a look at. Um, but I definitely encourage everybody watching today to take a look online um, and or come visit us in person. We are open Tuesday through Saturday between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. And um, there is no charge to uh, visit the space. We, are, uh, we have free admission year round. Um, we do accept donations. Um, if you're interested, but we um, do not charge admission. Um, there is uh, parking just outside, which is metered. Um, it is free after six and on weekends. So for example, today, um, parking is free. Um, so if you come on a Saturday, then you, the parking is free, but otherwise there's a meter parking. So um, that accepts change. And I think you can do it online too, if you have a, a park app. Um, anyhow, if we have um, no other questions before we go, then um, we can wrap up today's event. So thank you so much for all for being with us, um, artists and juror and viewers at home. Thanks so much for, for watching and tuning in. Um, please reach out if you ever have questions. We can be reached by phone um, at 586-469-8666. Um, or if you check our website, it has our um, address on there. It has a map. It has our um, individual email addresses if you want to get a hold of one of our staff members directly. So definitely visit there. And that same website is where you're going to find the virtual show. Um, if you visit www.theartcenter.org and you click the exhibits tab, you can find the virtual show there. So thank you everybody for joining today. And um, we hope to see you at the gallery soon. Have a great weekend. <laughs>